The INFJ empath is considered the healer of the world. By using their strong intuitive abilities and their deep empathetic nature, they can easily put themselves in other people's shoes to truly understand what they're feeling and why they're feeling it. However, there are some weird experiences that come up with being such a rare and empathetic personality type, 10 of which we'll discuss in today's video. Welcome or welcome back cycle. Today, we're talking about 10 weird things that all INFJ empaths do. Before we start, have you liked and subscribed to the channel? Go ahead and be sure to click the notification bell while you're there so you never miss a video. Number 1. They get overly upset about the small things. To put it simply, INFJ empaths care. They care a lot about everything. In fact, the ability to genuinely care is one of the INFJ empath's greatest strong suits. However, it isn't such a positive personality trait when they're stuck with their uncontrollable urge to ruminate on things that have no greater significance. For example, the empathetic INFJ can easily overthink and get upset about a passive-aggressive comment that was made by a co-worker or even an embarrassing moment they experienced earlier on in the day. In fact, this empathetic personality type can be affected by these types of little things for hours, days, and even weeks on end. While others would probably encourage the INFJ empath to just let it go and get over it, they can't help but feel it as deeply as they possibly can. Number 2. They'll do anything to avoid saying no to someone. With the people-pleasing nature of the INFJ personality type and the deep feeling of emotions of an empath, the INFJ empath has an incredibly hard time saying no and setting boundaries. Saying no or turning someone down can cause serious guilt for an INFJ empath who has an inner mission to help anyone and everyone that comes into their lives. When this personality type is asked for a helping hand, a shoulder to cry on or an open ear, they often feel enthusiastic and willing to use their time and energy to help. However, when an empath INFJ is overloaded with obligations and mental fatigue, they can easily become drained and overwhelmed. Number 3. They can easily confuse other emotions for their own. The INFJ is known to have trouble processing their own emotions, yet they are able to effortlessly tune into the thoughts and feelings of other people. That mix with the empath's autopilot nature of absorbing the emotions of others causes an INFJ empath to have difficulty distinguishing their emotions to that of others. When an INFJ empath is constantly absorbing the emotional information of the people around them, it can make understanding their own thoughts and opinions on matters that much more difficult. While this can seem like a negative trait, especially when surrounded by low vibrational people, the INFJ empath is able to use this to their advantage by choosing to hang around the right crowd and absorbing all the feel-good emotions that come with high vibrational people. Number 4. They can sense when something is off An innate empathetic trait that most INFJs can relate to is the ability to sense when something isn't right. Whether it be pertaining to a situation, a person, or decision to be made, when something seems fishy, an INFJ empath would be the first to point it out. When it comes to people, an empath INFJ can instantly sense when someone is upset or uncomfortable before they make it apparent to others. While this trait can make it hard for this empathetic type to fully enjoy themselves without worrying about others, they can easily sense when someone is in need or when a situation may need some intuitive insight before going forward. Convincing others that something is wrong based on sheer intuition and gut feeling is where the challenge comes into play. Number 5. They can secretly struggle with anxiety and depression. You would never know it because most empaths, INFJ, are brilliant at disguising their mental struggles behind their kind and caring essence. But most empathetic INFJs experience a great deal of anxiety or depression. 
Because they're on a subconscious mission to solve the world's unsolvable problems, the perfectionist empath INFJ can easily feel down in the dumps when they don't reach their unrealistic self-expectations. Beside that fact, when you experience the constant feeling of being overly sensitive to others' emotions, it's difficult to not feel the stress and anxiety that the majority of the population carries around with them. This leaves the INFJ empath to not only juggle their own uncertain emotions, but also that of other people they come into contact with. This is one of the main reasons why it's so incredibly important for this type to set boundaries around their unique empathetic gifts. Number 6. They require time to process transitions because INFJ empaths feel everything on a deep level, they require a little more time to process certain changes both insignificant and life-altering. A simple example of this weird experience of the INFJ empath is the process of transitioning from high-stimulating to low-stimulating environments and vice versa. This means that an INFJ empath may feel an odd sense of emptiness after spending time in a busy social setting and on the flip side also feeling completely overwhelmed when jumping into a crowded event. They require the time to process and mentally prepare for the change in energies and all the emotions associated with it. The same thing goes with hanging out with different social crowds, as the emotions emitted off one group of people can be very different from another group and an INFJ empath can surely feel it all. Number 7. They're constantly torn between going out or staying in. While this may be different for every INFJ empath depending on the level of introversion that's desired, most empathetic INFJs experience a strange push and pull when it comes to socialising. Although most INFJ empaths tend to connect well with others due to their understanding and non-judgmental character, ironically, they also require a great deal of time in order to process their own emotions and have a much-needed break from others. Without a significant amount of time, the INFJ empath can quickly become overloaded and overwhelmed by the company of others, yet with a lack of socialising, this type can feel the effects of too much isolation and may begin to feel overly lonely and depressed. Number 8. They can feel easily influenced by the moods of other people Just as the INFJ empath is known for actively absorbing the emotions of others, they are also directly influenced by the moods of other people around them. In fact, other people's moods can flip theirs like a switch in the matter of seconds. Let's say an INFJ empath was going about their day feeling accomplished, happy and excited to get home and see their significant other. Yet once they get home, they notice that their partner has had an awful day and can't seem to leave their miserable misfortune at the door. Well, you can bet that the INFJ empath automatically changes gear to fit that exact mood. Their emotions shift, happy-go-lucky vibes are gone, and they automatically feel just as upset as their partner does. While it allows the empath to feel exactly what their partner is feeling, it makes it difficult to encourage others when they are dampened by the same low vibrational energy. Number 9. They're familiar with emotional fatigue Emotional fatigue is basically an empath's way of setting boundaries once it's too late. They find it nearly impossible to say no to others, but when the time comes that the emotional absorption is at full capacity, the INFJ empath has no choice but to crumble under the pressure of it all. Most people are overwhelmed by their own feelings, but for an empath who involuntarily picks up on the emotions of everyone around them, it can easily become too much to handle and can even lead to the empathetic INFJ retracting into complete hermit mode to avoid any social interactions whatsoever. This isn't just to do with low emotions like sadness and anger, but too much positive emotions such as excitement and joy can also be exhausting. Number 10. They often feel extremely burdened The INFJ empath eventually comes to a point in their lives where they question whether their unique personality qualities are a blessing or a burden. And while most people like the sound of being able to intuitively pick up on the emotions and feelings of others, there is no doubt that it's difficult for empaths of all kinds to play the hand they're dealt. 
Most INFJ empaths are used to being led to feel like they care too much or are too emotional in life. But when they stop and ask themselves if they would give up their unique gifts if they had the chance, they probably wouldn't, even on the days that it seems unbearable. Well, that's it for today, Cycles. So, are you an INFJ empath? And if so, do you do all these 10 weird things? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more Cycle videos.